O oh God, save me by your name, by your power defend my cause. O oh God, hear my prayer, give ear to the words of my mouth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we come to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect on them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He prof professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us he is a censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him in a, is a hardship for us because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the de destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on the recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Our psalm response. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. Let the just cry out. The Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. And those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man. But out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. No one does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. 
Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feast of tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as, a, as it were in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on, on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In a remarkable in wonderful way today at noon uh, Eastern time here in Chicago the Holy Father Pope Francis will be offering a special blessing and with that blessing comes a plenary indulgence this blessing is called the Urbi et Orbi blessing and what's that mean that's Latin for in the city and in the world this blessing usually only comes about twice a year. Usually the Holy Father will give it at Christmas and Easter. Well, it is a very special blessing. Probably didn't know that uh, the Holy Father gave that blessing. Maybe you did. Another great thing about this blessing is that it's also given upon the election of a new pope. So I remember back, uh, and maybe all of you do as well, uh, back a few years ago when Pope Francis was elected and all the excitement and the energy and the electricity that was going on upon who was going to be elected as the new Supreme Pontiff, the leader, uh, the chief shepherd of the Catholic Church. And of course, they elected Pope Francis and he comes out onto the loggia there, onto the balcony, and he gives that great blessing. It's a very similar blessing to the people in the city of Rome who have gathered there in St. Peter's Basilica, and then also to all of those around the world. I highly encourage you, we will have a link uh, on our Facebook page that you watch this blessing of the Holy Father. There'll be some readings from scripture, some prayers, and then finally the Holy Father himself will extend that uh, blessing upon all of us. We live in uh, strange but also extraordinary times where extraordinary measures are being taken. Right? Just the extraordinary measures of being able to proclaim uh, and offer this Mass to all of you, whether you're at home, maybe you're on a, a, a break at work, uh, and you're watching this wonderful Mass being celebrated. These are indeed extraordinary times. And that's why the Holy Father, especially in Italy, which has been hit so hard by the coronavirus, is coming out and offering this blessing, not only to the people of the city of Rome, but to everyone in the world. And so, an indulgence. What is that? It's one of those things that is uh, so rarely preached upon in our church that uh, I wanted to make sure that we got a correct definition of it. So if you have a catechism at home, you can pull out uh, your catechism and uh, follow along. The sacrament of reconciliation forgives sins, and indulgence relieves us of any punishments in the life to come. Well, what does that mean? Doesn't, uh, when I go to the sacrament of reconciliation, am I not forgiven of my sins? Yes, absolutely, you are forgiven of your sins. And sometimes, though, we have disordered desires, right, that stay with us throughout our lives. Perhaps there's a particular sin in your life that you continually confess over and over and over again in the sacrament of reconciliation. And indulgence is something that we can uh, uh, receive. It, is, it comes in the form of a blessing, usually praying for the Holy Father's intentions, and then going to the sacrament of reconciliation and going uh, to Mass uh, as well within a period of time. Now, the Holy Father has uh, released that period of time until we can publicly celebrate the sacraments. 
But with that indulgence comes the uh, uh, forgiveness, uh, the remission of any temporal or uh, uh, eternal punishment. That's where the whole idea of purgatory comes from. We have to be purged of any disordered desire that we have. So let's say I have a disordered desire towards eating potato chips. So let's say I eat potato chips, you know, uh, a bag uh, uh, every single day. Well, maybe I'm going to the sacrament of confession, and maybe I am, I, I'm definitely be for, being forgiven of that sin, but maybe I'm still struggling. Maybe I go back and uh, I still need to eat half a bag of chips, or maybe I'm just down to two chips or, th uh, you know, three chips a day. Well, upon uh, my, uh, uh, when I pass from this life into eternity, I might still have that disordered desire to continue to eat chips. Well, that's what purgatory comes in, and that's where uh, the remission of any temporal disordered attachments comes from. And so God, through indulgences, forgives any uh, uh, eternal uh, disordered desires and punishments that may come uh, with that. That's why it's so important. That's why when we receive the sacrament of uh, a penance, we are commanded to go and sin no more. It's very challenging for us, and with the grace of God, we can do that. An indulgence is another uh, special blessing that is received on top of that, which really and truly helps us and f wipes away all of uh, uh, that, that disordered desire uh, in, uh, in our lives. So I encourage you to watch that mass, uh, those blessings live today uh, uh, from Rome. We'll have a link on our Facebook page. Please do indeed watch uh, those wonderful uh, blessings because we are in extraordinary times. And the Lord loves us and desires for us to have every single blessing, every single advantage in our lives. Let us avail ourselves of these wonderful blessings through the gift uh, of media and through the gift uh, of our Holy Father and the gift and the grace and the mercy of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us bring our needs and those of our brothers and sisters in Christ to our loving Father. We pray for missionaries. May the Lord strengthen them in their zeal to spread the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policy makers, may the Holy Spirit inspire them in passing laws, protecting all life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those persecuted for righteousness sake, may God bless them with courage and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our family of faith, St. Damien Parish, may the Lord bless us in our Lenten efforts of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the all sick, those on our parish sick list, especially those suffering from COVID-19. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for our faithful departed, Especially today, we pray for Greg Swidergal and James Barton. May they and all the faithful departed rest in paradise with all the angels and saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are our very breath, and that is a gift from you. We humbly ask you to listen to our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. What does it become for us? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. 
May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abhaoth, plenis uncelia terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, we venit in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. History of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Anne Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who've pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At 
the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccatam hunti, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccatam hunti, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccatam hunti, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In Christ, in Christ we, we have, have redemption, redemption by his blood and forgiveness of our sins in accord with the riches of his grace. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so the, with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just want to thank everyone uh, uh, for watching uh, our live stream or if you're watching this later in the day and uh, several things going on later today uh, we have uh, at uh, noon I said uh, as I mentioned in my homily the Holy Father will be giving uh, a special blessing which comes with it a plenary indulgence so please do uh, avail yourself of that uh, and then uh, we'll have a link for that on our Facebook page 
Uh, at 3 uh, p.m., we will have our uh, rosary and our Divine Mercy Chaplet. And then finally, uh, this evening at 7 p.m., we'll have our uh, Stations of the Cross. So please do join us uh, for all of those wonderful things here uh, uh, at uh, St. Damien's Church. And though we cannot be together, we are uh, 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 together, if you will, through uh, in spirit and through uh, the wonder and marvel of modern media and through our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness, protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.